Hey y'all, I'm Wendy Valencia and as you may have already seen, I accepted my everyday wife life's challenge of walk a hundred miles. I actually took her challenge up a little bit of a notch and instead of uh, just getting my hundred miles in, I'm gonna get in a hundred miles of running. And my goal is to do it in under 12 weeks. This will be update number two. I got in 10.3 miles in update number one and set a goal of 16 miles for update number two. Did I make it? Stick around and find out. I have to be honest here, I'm really gonna have to pick up my pace if I wanna hit my goal of 100 miles in 12 weeks. This update, although technically update number two, is actually the end of week four of the challenge. As it turns out, I really filled up my plate and um, it seems like I'm sacrificing something and that something keeps being exercise. Not a good decision in my book. So I'm fully disappointed in myself. I don't like setting goals and not reaching them. It's kind of depressing and it seems to be the theme for this month. So September and October apparently are going to be the months for setting goals and not succeeding. Okay, we'll call them months of failure. But what I dislike even more than not actually reaching the goals I set is to have to publicly admit failure. So hopefully this is the last time it'll happen. I don't normally run on weekends. I exercise, but it's not like working out, working out. It's like working in the garden or running around on the playground with my daughter. Nothing I would ever count as real exercise. Real exercise involves your heart pounding and sweat. Lots and lots of sweat. No, wait, I don't sweat. I glisten. You glisten, I glisten. So let's dive in real quick to the meat and the bones of how much I actually ran and how far along I am. I filmed the last video on Saturday, September 17th, and on September 20th, we left for Columbia. In that time, I was able to get a four mile run in on the 20th, the day we left for Columbia. The morning before we left, we left, our flight left at like four o'clock. So I was able to get up real early before I took Melia to school and get a run in which was awesome. It was a good run. I got to run later than normal, so it was almost dawn by the time I actually got out there. It's actually kind of nice when there's actual light outside to run in. I absolutely hate running in the dark. It's like torture for me. I mean, complete torture, like bamboo shoots under your fingernails torture. But it's the only time I have free in my day, so, and it's the only time it's gonna get done. And I'm always happy when I actually do it. So, you know, it's kind of worth it in the end. Then we went to Columbia and we're on vacation. I took all my running stuff and planned on running. The first full day we were there, we got there super late uh, at night on the 20th. So on the 21st, I got up, I told Mauricio, hey, let's go on a run. And uh, he said we'd go later. I didn't realize later meant when we got back from Columbia. I am not kidding you when I tell you that I didn't run once, not once. I told Mauricio I was going running several times, but each time he came up with a safety reason why I couldn't go. Now, I understood, you saw the videos of, of his neighborhood. It's a dangerous area. He didn't want me running by myself in the neighborhood. In fact, he didn't want to run in his neighborhood either, especially since we both run with um, our music and headphones and, and our iPhones and our headphones are probably several months salary of some of the people in that neighborhood so you know I can understand the logic behind that and I was okay with that but you know he kept telling me we'd go to the park and we would go running we never did since he was already really stressed out about staying on our budget and his long-term career prospects that I didn't want to add to his stress so I just never ran so we got home on September 30th about 10 o'clock and um, and that whole weekend I worked on getting videos out because you know I had that whole drama associated with the uploading videos the entire time we were there so I, I didn't get as many videos out while we were there as I thought I would so I wanted to get them out so um, I spent the whole weekend making sure everything uploaded and getting them going and everything and on Monday morning October 3rd I was back at it and I ran a nice leisurely 4.7 miles. Normally I uh, do interval training with a running app that I love and it basically, you know, it tells me when to run, when to sprint, when to walk. Um, but on this day I opted for using Map My Run and I just jogged the whole way and it was really pleasant. I feel like I'm one of those people I could run for forever. Um, 
I, I, I have always had lots of endurance. I don't have, I, I'm not a super fast runner. I know, but um, I can run long distances with, with really little problem. I was the same way. I was a competitive swimmer growing up. And, and so um, I could do the same thing with swimming. I was really good at the really long distance races, not as good with the sprints. So the next morning, October 4th, I ran 3.8 miles this time using my regular running app. It was a good run. Um, I could have run more, but I ended up chatting with Mauricio before I left and then I was late. And so, you know, I got out the door late, but seriously, who chats at 4.15 in the morning? I mean, seriously, does that make you kind of crazy? Makes me kind of crazy. And then on the 5th of October, I woke up sick. I knew I was getting sick the night before, but when I woke up, I was, S-I-C-K sick, 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 sick. So, but Mauricio got it while we were in Colombia, so I'm not surprised we, we got it. I'm waiting for my parents to get it. They'll be getting it any day now. So I was sick through the weekend and didn't pick up a single step. Mauricio is actually still sick. I am not. That's the power of exercise, I'm telling you. Mauricio, he likes to exercise, but with his work schedule, he just didn't have time. He's, you know, works 12 hours a day and is in school also. And he just doesn't have time to exercise very often. So me, at least I consistently exercise. So I don't get as sick for very long. Yeah, um, I just, I, I'm very fortunate that way. And I actually attribute that to healthy diet, healthy exercise. So in total, I made it 12 and a half miles, which sounds good on paper, but it really should have been around 40 for that time period. But, you know, if I wanted to get it done as quickly as I expected to, but you know, it just wasn't, wasn't working for me. So 12 and a half miles, that's good. That's uh, my grand total is 22.8 miles. So at this rate, I should be done by um, Valentine's day. Time to pick up the pace. If you'd like to join us on this challenge, let me know down below. Also, all the ladies that are participating in this challenge, the links to their channels will also be down below. And if you think exercise is the worst thing on the planet, feel free to let me know that down below too. I'd probably be inclined to agree with you, but you know, I'm gonna do it anyway because it actually is supposedly good for you. And my cold is the testament. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.